This is the blessed Lawrence, who gave himself up for the treasure of the church. For this he earned the suffering of martyrdom, to ascend with joy to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God of heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God our Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that adder of love for you, which made Saint, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, Grant that we may love what he loved, and put into a practice what he taught, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his rightness, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. The response, the psalm response is, Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to all in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to all in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mightily, mightily upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, 
till he looks down upon his foes. Bless is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Jesus said to his disciples, A many men I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for life, for eternal life. So I mean, whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr. And one of the aspects of St. Lawrence is about his martyrdom, where he had that joking way when he was being burned uh, on the pike, or what have you, that he was saying, I'm done on one side, so turn me over. That he still had that sense of what is coming forward for him which is that eternal life in heaven. For us, it is that aspect of the way that St. Lawrence and all the saints lived their life, that if they realize that they do not live for oneself, but they live for others and for the Lord. It's that reminder that we do not want to contain our life and keep it all bundled up to ourselves, but we want to live our life so that others can receive, or we ourselves can receive the glory of others in our life, that we might receive those blessings that other people have, not satisfied with our own state, as it were, to separate and remain. And that's even true for those people who are hermits or people in convents and monasteries that have that cloistered way, that they're constantly looking out toward the world in prayer. That their prayer is something that looks out to the struggles of people around the world. And in that, they're able to be that front line, as it were, of defense for all that comes our way. My dear sisters and brothers, let us, reminded, let us be reminded that we must be those seeds that grow. For a seed that doesn't grow just is contained in itself. It is seed that grows and opens itself up to the dirt, to the soil, to the, the different nourishments of the world to receive those blessings, but that it might grow more and more strong and fuller. In the same way, let us be, that we might be open up to the world and give ourselves to the world so that we might receive those blessings of God to go about and give ourselves to the world again, like St. Lawrence and all the saints did here in life and continue to do as intercessors eternally in heaven. 
By their sisters and brothers, eager to follow where Jesus leads, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's people may sow bountifully the seeds of grace they have found in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That deacons may guide the church in yielding a harvest rich in works of justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That nations and persons with abundant wealth may yield their surplus to the needs of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That farmers and farm workers may work together in care of the land and each other, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That creation, soil, and water may be honored through humanity's service, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those made weak by illness may trust God's power to draw forth a harvest of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for Ron Grislak, for Joyce Mack, for Joseph and Leona Carbonata, Carbota, Carbota, excuse me, and for peace in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, that the souls of those who have died may be gathered into heavenly arms, we pray to the Lord. Lord, and for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, use us as your instruments in bringing your gospel of joy and the truth to other people, dear Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and those in sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, who sows and reaps, the deacon Lawrence led the church in serving those most in need. By his example, may we too offer our lives in abundant attention to the hungry, poor, and forgotten, that our single grain may yield much fruit, a harvest of righteousness, in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence, poured out like Christ in glo to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the people show strength to bear you witness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without an end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and each of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. I mean, thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring you to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. We were also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, St. Lawrence, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marry to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, your central apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Then I our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. The 
the Zachary shop inside of Lamb of God. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service, which we render on the feast of St. Lawrence, may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, for our world, and of our community. Our Father, our Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's pray a prayer for our mother. Mother of my mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, for eternity I so sanctify the state of the Lord. Imploring thee, I come to you, humbly I beseech you. Confidently I trust in you. I know that your hand by your powerful intercession help me in my need. In you I take refuge to the Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother, 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 Mother. Mother of God.